wanted to share with you a super easy way to add your logo to your art, to your pictures, to your work. I want to help you, of course, get more business if they can find you, and also just to protect your work. Um, I love to use Canva. To me, it is my favorite program besides Photoshop. It's really easy for those of you uh, that are kind of technologically uh, struggle. So I have a pro Canva account. So um, some of the features you'll see might look a little different if you're using the free version, but nonetheless, you can just use this program very easily to create your own, or uh, put your watermark, put your logo. So let me show you how to do that. So uh, on canva.com, that's what this is, you are going to have all of these different options in terms of uh, different sizes and pre-layouts, which is pretty helpful for you. So let's just say social media, we're gonna make a Facebook post. So I go to Facebook post and you have all of these options of uh, different templates, but the goal of this one is to show you guys how to add your logo. So I'm gonna go to folders and I'm going to pick from my balloon decor folder, right? So I wanna post this on my Facebook and I want people to know where it came from. So the first things first is I'm going to stretch it to the corners and try to fit it inside of the screen so that you don't cut off too much. The goal is to show the picture. Now, uh, at the most basic level, if you just want to add a logo and nothing else, like call me for a balloon decor, like if you wanted to just add your logo. So Canva Pro allows you to have like all of these folders, which is extremely helpful when you're looking for things. So I'm gonna go to my logos folder. So many people have a logo that has a white background on it, okay? And what that just means is it's usually just a JPEG. Well, many times when you put your logo, hold on, I'm gonna try to find one. It's, okay, so for instance, so this is what your logo looks like. So when you put it here, even if I make it small, it just kind of doesn't do the picture justice, right? So you want to make it so that it has a clear background, a transparent background, that's called a PNG, uh, which means the background is removed. So as of not that long ago, Canva introduced a background removal tool. So I would just put my little logo drag it directly onto your picture, go to effects right here, and you go to the first button, which says background remover. And it's a pretty good tool. So as you can see, what did it do? It removed the background. So you see how it took away the white from behind the supplies? You can restore you know, just that piece if you wanted to. It's up to you. Um, but, and so you see how it kind of put it back in, so I might restore a little bit more. And you know that way and you could see it where it's getting rid of those checkerboards and this is just restoring so that there's like that white behind the silly firm logo banner like this and most of the time you won't even have to do this done and then boom there it is that's how you add your logo. You can move it, you can put it anywhere that you want. You know, you could put it right in the middle. I see people who make a huge mistake by doing this. Like they'll put their logo and then they'll put, you know, something like copyright. And I spelled copyright wrong. So they'll put this. And what does that do? It just ruins the picture, guys. Like, if somebody wants to go to extreme lengths, they're gonna take your picture and reuse it anyways. I know it stinks, it's not the right thing to do. Um, but rather than covering up your work, I would say take your logo, put it somewhere um, that you know people can recognize it, whether it's top, the bottom, the corners, but don't cover up your work. Don't do this, especially on a face paint. Let people see the beauty of your work and I promise you it'll make a difference. Now, you can also change the transparency on Canva. So to do that, if you didn't want your logo to be like so striking, you can go up here to this checkerboard and that is transparency. And you could you know, lower it so that it looks more just like a soft watermark as opposed to its full 
color and that is again going to be up to you more than anything else so you could lower it make it as low as possible you know make it as strong as possible all of that's going to be up to you and that is a fast easy way to add your logo um, remove the background and you know just prepare your images for people to know that it's you and give them your branding so when you're ready, you have a couple choices. You can publish directly to Facebook or you can download. And when you download in this drop down menu, there's lots of options. There's PNGs, there's JPEGs, PDFs, SVGs, you name it, you can download it. So um, most of the time we just recommend using a PNG just because it's a good quality file for you. But you can use, choose a JPEG as well and download it and then you can save it in your folders. And that way when you go to post on social media, you will have branded images um, that are reflective of your company and will help you retain business and get new business because they know whose business it is. So I hope this little video was helpful for you guys. Um, I'll be doing a lot more Canva tutorials because it's such a great business tool and it's affordable and I want you guys to get the most out of it. So don't forget to check out Silly Farm, Faba TV, The Big, The Face and Body Art International Convention. We can't wait to see you guys at the virtual Fabe coming up May 28th through the 30th and I can't wait to see you guys there. All right, have a wonderful day.